guys, NJ Bike Life here. It just torrential downpour in my neighborhood, and now it doesn't look like it's been a torrential downpour anymore. So I'm out and about on the bike. So I hope it doesn't rain anymore. If it rains, I'll be pretty upset, but I don't really mind. Anyway, yo guys. Yesterday, I went riding with my buddy Ian, who used to have the maybe 2015, 2013, something Honda CRF 250L. It was the white and red one. I always rode in the woods with him, essentially. And uh, I rode with another buddy of mine, Ray, who I've rode in previous videos with. Also, he has the Honda Rebel 250. It's a small little bike. And, uh, he finally modded that thing out to be a bobber. And Ian got rid of the dirt bike and bought himself a 2000, I think he said 15 or 14, Yamaha Bolt 950. So, they both have cruisers. One's a 250 cruiser, the other one's a 900cc cruiser. <coughs> and we went riding yesterday. I don't know if I got any useful footage, but we went riding from like here in like Freehold all the way down to like the shore, like Belmar, Avon, and we rode all the way down to like Pure Village, Long Branch area, and we rode back. And I, I, I can say that it actually wasn't too bad riding with two cruisers. The only time that it sucked was when they took 195, which is a minimum speed of 65, and my dirt bike was screaming like a little girl. But, I mean, other than that, the ride was pretty good. It was friggin' super nice out. My helmet is filthy for some reason. And, uh, it, it, they, they kept on trying to convince me to get a cruiser bike, cruiser bike. So, here is my five reasons on why I wouldn't get another cruiser bike. Reason number one, cruiser bikes are everywhere. You can't stick out with a cruiser bike. You can't be cool with a cruiser bike. So. That's reason number one. They're they're everywhere. I want a bike that sticks out, a bike that's different. And uh, enduro is definitely that. So that's the first reason. Second reason is I used to have the Honda Cruiser, and although it was a safe bike. It was also not that safe of a bike. I feel like on the dirt bike here, I could literally, like, sneeze and I could move the bike, stop the bike, make the bike do what I want. With a cruiser bike, you don't have that much time to really react and it's just a lot heavier. The conditions on the road, like, really matter on a bike like that. So, that's reason number two, is that it's a lot harder to control, per se. Of course, on the highway, it's nice and easy, if certain spots it's easy, but for me, it's just harder to control a, a cruiser than it is to control this little ass dirt bike. The reason number three, triple, I don't know why people ever do triples like this. Like, you can't go anywhere from there. Reason number three, cruiser bikes are only good for just that, cruising. You can't take a cruiser bike off-road. You can't take a cruising bike, you know, down the street for a second or two 
hop into the woods and then you're good. So that's that's reason number three is that you're you're just stuck to the road. Although I ride the dirt bike mostly on the road, at least I have the option of going off road if I wanted to. So that's always good. And that's not so good for cruisers. Reason number four to why I would continue to keep my dirt bike over a cruiser. Is that number four? Number two, versatility. Number one. Number one. Uh, uh, I don't know. I think that's number four. We'll go with number four. Number four. With a cruiser. You have to take a lot more care of it than you do with this bike right here. Literally, I have done nothing at all to this bike in at least six months. And it starts every single time. It rides perfect every single time. It just works. So not something you can't do with a cruiser bike. I mean, maybe you can, but cruiser bikes have fancy chrome on them. They got fancy this, fancy that. So it, it, it could be done, but it's, it's not desirable. If I were to ever get a bigger bike, I would probably just get a street bike or I would just get a bigger Enduro because I like being different on the road. People see a dirt bike like, oh my god, there's a dirt bike on the road. Can you believe it, Harry? Oh yes, Martha. I can definitely believe that there's a dirt bike on the road. But it's just like very strange. And I feel very safe on a dirt bike. So, let me know what you guys think of my five reasons on why I would not trade the dirt bike for a cruiser bike. Nor would I buy a cruiser. Know in the comments below and be sure to like this video and you're probably already subscribed but if you're not you can try doing that also I make videos every week and I'm really cool NJ Bike Life see ya